have said, I've seen it on record here, sometime within 2013 to 2014, somewhere in there, we're going to see some sort of crash. Yeah, I think we're going to have a crisis. You know, I don't know that we're going to have time for QE4 or QE5, but I mean, ultimately, <laughs> that's where we're headed because mm -hmm. that's all QE does. Right. Each QE sows the seeds of the next QE because, again, it's like you're trying to keep a, a drug at a kind. And every time the drug wears off, if you want them to stay high, you got to give them more. But you know, you're, he's not going to you know get healthy if you keep him you know knocked up on drugs. So every time they give us stimulus to create a phony recovery, the stimulus wears off, and we get back to recession. And now we look for the same quick fix to get the phony recovery going. But we don't want to allow a real recovery because that means some real bitter tasting medicine needs to be swallowed. And that's going to be in the form of higher interest rates. There's going to be lower real estate prices, stock prices. Some banks are going to fail. And the government is going to have to seriously cut spending, I mean, dramatically to everybody. I mean, we might have to restructure our debts so that our bondholders don't even get paid in full. But clearly, people who are expecting Social Security can't get all that money. People expecting government pensions can't get all their money. Current government employees can't get their current paychecks. They, they have to have reductions. A lot of government workers need to be let go. We simply can't afford to pay them. We've got a cancer in our economy that needs to be cured. And it, it's not going to be painlessly. I mean, certainly some people, it, it won't feel it as bad as others. But for people who are dependent on government, who are living off of a government check, things have to change. Because the taxpayers who are making that possible can't afford it. The government has promised too much to too many people to buy their votes. And the politicians have to level with the American public, tell them how bad the situation is now, and what really needs to, done to grow the, be done to grow the economy. Because more government fixes, more printing press money, more borrowed money, more consumption, that's not, to do, that's not going to do it. It would be much better for the long-term health of Europe if they dealt with the pain and let these economies restructure, uh, force governments uh, into austerity, which is good for the people, but they're not doing that. But you know, whatever happens, and I think this is the bigger point, however they resolve it in the short run, good or bad, whatever they do, Right, it's going to take the pressure off the Eurozone temporarily and put it right back on the dollar, on the U.S. Now, unless somehow Japan can, can jump into the mix and become the next crisis before America, which I don't think the odds would favor that. I'm not saying it's impossible. Uh, but, you know, when, when the world is focusing on America, it is, it, there is no short-term fix that can work anymore because we've been doing these short-term fixes for a long time. You know, we got a little extra rope from this European crisis, right? But it wasn't it wasn't used as a lifeline. It was a noose. Sure. Right? And you don't think it's going to last for very long, obviously, clearly. I, I don't so. think, look, yeah. something's going to happen in Europe because right. this can't just go on indefinitely. Right. And, and, and the numbers are just so big for the U.S. Interest yeah. rates have got to rise yeah. or the Fed is going to have to print so much money to keep them from rising mm -hmm. that inflation is going to flare up to, in a way that even government numbers can't hide it anymore. Mm -hmm. The world's going to see the predicament we're in. There's going to be tremendous pressure on the dollar. Mm -hmm. you know, even recently, look, you know, Japan and China just announced that bilaterally they're not trading in dollars anymore. They're going to trade in their own currencies. And this has been happening with other countries too. And as the dollar is taken out of more and more of global trade, and it's going to continue to, you know, to lose its status as a reserve currency until the point where it's no longer a reserve currency at all.